This is one of two ways I deal with laying worker hives. The hive that was right next to it was a laying worker. One way to deal with it is to swap it out with a queen ride hive, let the foragers come back, kill all of the laying workers, and then swap them back at noon the next day. Swap them at noon while all the foragers are out. Well, I didn't feel like doing that today. It was a double two-frame deep nuke and a honey super on top. And I had about eight frames of bullets. So what I did is I set it in the back of my truck. I drove way back there to those two trees and shook them on the ground. And in doing so, the ones that have been out of the hive and foraged were the ones you saw piled up on the back of the Actually, you can see my tire marks. I didn't go to between those two trees and went right back up here. You can actually still see some of them flying around going, where did we go? One minute I'm in a hive taking care of larvae and the next minute we are lost. But what you do is you take it a distance away, you shake it out. They say the laying workers can't fly because they're bigger than the rest of the bees where they're laying. And what would you say those might be? Say so they might be laying workers. Ah, oh, there's a couple of small high builds we need to kill. But, ooh, didn't kill that one. Let's kill that one. That's one way to deal with them. I'm just gonna leave them. I ain't worried about them. Let them die. All I did was slid that other hive over directly halfway in between so its foragers could find its way back. These foragers will pile up on the front and beg their way in. One's coming back with groceries will automatically be accepted because, hey, if somebody knocked on your door, you open the door and they've got bags of steaks and chicken and veggies for you vegetarians, even vegans, you'd say, come right on in. Let me show you where to put it. Well, the ones showing up without anything have to beg their way in. As you can see, there was quite a few bees in that hive. Like I said, it was a double five frame nuke and a honey super. It'll take them a couple hours maybe to beg their way in. But it'll happen. Anyway, that's the easy way that I deal with laying workers when I, I'm at this point in time in the year. I'm sick of hives. It's the 30th of May. I've got swarm traps and trees that need to come home and I need equipment to put them in. Well, instead of trying to requeen this one, all of the worker brood had hatched and all we had was bullets. So that tells me that these are older bees. As you can see, just a few down there that didn't, didn't fly back. So they're the nurse bees that were taking care of all that. So this hive will get a boost. I'll bring a, another super over because I just put that super on this one because this hive hadn't been here that long. But she's queen right. When I went into her, went into her she had seven frames of brood. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll eventually do the other video on showing you how to swap the hives because you can swap them and the next day you can requeen them. Have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe. Share them if you like them.